so we get it. What's going on YouTube? I'm here to do y'all another tutorial using the Rimmel Quad in afternoon tea. And I love this quad. It is very well worth the price. I think it was about three or four bucks at Walmart. So you can probably find any local drugstore or wherever. But this is the look. And I hope you guys like it and keep watching. And I'll show y'all how to get this. Okay, first things first, like I, like I do in all my videos, I just go ahead and prime my eye, use any primer you wish. And I go ahead and just fill my eyebrows, and I use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. First thing I want to do is take the NYX or NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil. I'm just going to go ahead and just, in fact, go ahead and color in your eyes. Just a little bit. I just feel like such a big kid, just playing around in this. And you just take your finger and work it all up. All the way up to your brow bone. And this will make any shadow pop. And it also helps the shadow stick. And I use a light touch because you don't want to push down too hard and smear your uh, foundation. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is you want to take your Rimmel Quad, an afternoon tea. And then you're going to take an eyeshadow brush. You're going to go in with this matte brown. It's like a little light brown. And you're just going to work that all over your lid. The next thing you're going to take after putting that all over your lid, you're going to take this really pretty reddish bur brown or burgundy-ish kind of brown. It's got a little shimmer in it. And you're going to take a little blending brush. It's not a pencil brush. It's just an elf blending brush. They're a little small. And then I like to work it from, starting from the outer corner in little circular motions in. And kind of work into your crease, slowly going up. And I'm not adding any extra color, just blending it upwards. Now you don't have to do this tutorial this way, you can follow the tutorial on the back. This is one way I like to do it, and I like to do it that way too, but I just was going to show how to do this one. Okay, just to cut things clear, I'm just going to work on this eye. Once you do that, I'm going to take a pencil brush and go in with this pretty light shimmery pink. I put that in my inner corner. Work that in. Sorry, I keep going out of camera. I want you to do that. I'm taking this Elf Defining Eye Brush. It's just got a little angle to it. I'm going to take this dark slate or dark, super dark brown. I don't think you want to call it. I don't know. And then I start putting this right here in my outer V. Working it just a little bit inwards. Okay, then once you have that done and worked in as much as you wish, I keep it just right up to about right here and how I got to get that gradient color. Slowly kind of like push it out just a little bit, but not much. Then you go back in with that same pencil brush or after you wiped it off or you can get a new one, doesn't matter. I want to take a little bit more of that dark color, kind of smoke it out down near here, near your lower lash line. Oh my goodness, I, am, I apologize for it focusing in and out. And this like scratches my eye when I do this part, but I think it adds to the look. And once you've added a little bit of that, I go back in with that same brown color. Add to the middle part. Go in your inner corner. And kind of blend in with that dark slate color. Now I just get a little bit more of that pretty shimmery color and then add it right back in there. And so far that's how it's turning out. Really pretty, isn't it? 
now I'm going to take one extra quad. I just I thought that the highlight color would be more appropriate. You don't have to add the highlight if you don't wish. I do. It's for my Maybelline Chic Naturals little trio. And I just I'm taking this little highlight color, the plain little eyeshadow brush, nothing amazing. And I'm just patting it right up in the very, very top of my eye. And kind of slowly bend it down in with that burgundyish brown and it kind of blends together. Also, don't forget to tight line and uh, do your waterline. Well, for my tight line, I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay. Well, there you go. And it's just in black. I want to do that to make my lashes look bigger and fuller. And I'm using the Physicians Formula. It's upside down. Physicians Formula uh, Brown Liner. And it's their shimmer strips. I want to use this down here in the bottom. I'm just going to smudge it kind of into your lower lashes. And only work away halfway in. Make sure you smudge it in there real good. Alright, see how pretty that looks. And you're going to take your color stay and Work it on the top of your lashes. And see how much fuller they look at the base. And you can add a little more if you wish. I'm going to. And I would do my eyeliner, but I really mess up from trying to focus in here or back on there. I have to get really up close and personal. But do that to your eyes and add your mascara. And I like to use that berry mascara right here just on the inner corner and then black on the outside. Since, since I'll go with that burgundy eyeshadow. But once you're done with that, you have the completed look.